Hey, what's up everybody? It's Greg. Um, just got back from a New York trip. Um, we went to the Hall of Fame, made a short detour to Cooperstown. Um, it is like in the middle of nowhere, um, but it was a sight to see. It was very awesome. There are three levels to the Hall of Fame and each level is just packed with memorabilia. They had a baseball card corner up at the top. Um, I checked to make sure there weren't any rare 90s inserts that I might need. Um, thankfully, there weren't. They had some autograph cards, game used, serial numbered, and a lot of old stuff, but not too much in the 90s. So we're good. Thankfully, we're good. Um, but I can't, I can't begin to tell you all the cool stuff in there. They had like a Hispanic corner, an African American corner, a female corner, um, Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, Yankees. Everything you can think of was there. Um, I spent about two hours there taking pictures. I was just in awe of all the things. I highly recommend going. Um, all across the the main strip, they had um, you know memorabilia stores and um, a few baseball card shops. I kind of figured there were going to be some baseball card shops. There were two big ones, um, and the others were just like souvenirs with baseball cards. So I looked around, um, I found about six cars, each were a dollar, nothing too crazy, um, but they were cool. Um, I got the Stadium Club, a video replay, a Griffey, it was a buck, can't pass that up, um, very cool card. Um, the Sports Flicks Detonators of Griffey, another cool card. Um, also got... Um, select company Frank and then I've got a crown contenders of Frank I've got this ultra 95 ultra power plus I actually pulled this as a kid we were in Gulf Shores got my mom to take me to a card shop and I pulled it he was my favorite player I pulled it you know freaking out in the car as usual as like I always do um, super happy I think they were one to 20 packs but I actually don't have it. I didn't have it anymore so I bought it because it was a buck and I always wanted it I would like to get the gold medallion um, but that one is gonna stay in my collection and then I found the museum collection um, Griffey for a buck like I said these were all a dollar so that was very cool it was a cool trip got a few cards you know um, but the trip was was the, the highlight of, of me going at Cooperstown. The Hall of Fame is amazing, guys. I would highly recommend going. Um, I did come home to a mail day. I got my Paul O'Neill 95 Finest Refractor. Um, love this set. The fading gets kind of bad for the 95 Finest, so you can find a good one. Um, that's not faded too much. I would pull the trigger because those fade pretty easily, and if if you find one that's not faded, chances are it's not going to fade. So, um, kind of rare for for us to find a good one. Um, and then I got the Ken Caminiti gold signature. It's a team checklist. And then um, this, I don't usually do too many modern cards, but I do like the gold minted from Stadium Club. I have the Mariana Rivera, and I needed the Frank. Um, as you can see, it's like a, a refractor, but it's gold. Really like these cards. Um, I'm trying to get the 2019 Frank as well. Uh, it also looks pretty cool. I definitely like the gold minted from Stadium Club. Um, but that's all I got for this week. Just wanted to share my experience with the Hall of Fame and show you guys my, my new cards that I got. Um, hope you're having a good week, and we'll see you on the podcast.